Thanks, Hazel. Is there any better tournament than Wimbledon? This year, we saw lots of upsets, lots of rain, and in the end, we saw the emergence of two superstars. Leighton Hewitt proves speed kills. This kid is the fastest player I've ever seen. He reminds me a lot of a modern-day Bjorn Borg with more motion. He gives 100% on every point and gives nothing away for free. A point won against him is a point earned. In the final against David Nelbandian, Hewitt controlled the match right from the outset. Nelbandian looked almost awestruck out there, but really, even if he had played a better match, there's nothing he could have done to beat Hewitt. Look for more big things from Hewitt this summer, as he'll be even more dangerous as the hardcore season approaches. For anyone who thinks this Williams-Williams finals are fixed, they need not to look any further than Venus's reaction after a loss to her younger sister. It was obvious how much this championship meant to Venus and how badly she wanted to claim her third straight title against her younger sister. As much as we like to group the two together, they are anything but similar. Serena likes to get the crowd involved and is not afraid to show her emotions on the court. Venus is a little bit more methodical and deliber deliberate in her approach to the game. Serena got better as the tournament went on and in her match against Amy Moresmo in the semifinal, she really opened up people's eyes. She has the best all-around game in the women's tennis and when she's able to control her emotions, she's virtually unbeatable. A tough break for Canada's Daniel Nestor as he and veteran partner Mark Knowles went down in four sets to Todd Woodbridge and Jonas Bjorkman. The two struggled to hold serve in the first two sets of the final and had a miserable returning day as they failed to break serve in the entire match. A Wimbledon doubles crown would be a perfect way to cap off a remarkable career for Daniel. Unfortunately, nagging arm injuries have plagued him the last couple of years and his serve has slowed down considerably. But Daniel's shown a lot of guts the last couple of years, so look for him to bounce back. For Sports Central AM, I'm Bob Mahal.